better? I don't know. I mean, it's uh, pretty hard to say because we could, you know, clearly there was no tumor in here, any of the margins, and we took all of it out. So Good. I think your stage had been reduced to a very, to a lower stage. Right. And actually, your restage to the stage two is kind of what you're at based on the new staging. Now, you were stage three for sure because right. it was that lymph node involvement, but now that we've taken other lymph nodes out, if this had been your surgery and you hadn't any treatment, you would have been a stage two. Yeah. So that's uh, that's good that you were downstaged, and we're real happy with that. And you and Dr. Jotty will have to keep an eye on each other, but uh, okay. I don't know whether he'll recommend anything else or not. Hopefully not. I mean, hopefully this is the kind of see how she does. and yep. That was the goal, do chemo, radiation, and surgery if that was... Yeah, I know, and I think we've kind of done what we normally would do for this problem. And, I mean, he's and now uh, things change. I mean, uh, you know, in general, there are studies that will come along that you might qualify for or something like that, then you should think about that because the only reason they do a study is that they think it's going to work better right. and if it's going to be well tolerated. So those things are all something to consider, but there's nothing to consider now for the next month or so because you just need to kind of get over this. And, and well, like I said, so far, and talking over Dr. Jotty, Neither one of us is really recommending anything, so we're kind, right. of, kind of in agreement with what you just said is we think you're done with your treatment and now okay. we just need to let now you Now you just get to live. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to China, right? Yeah. Did you ask him about the puke? I, I just saw him. Oh, okay. Uh, she had been throwing up some black stuff still today. Is that pretty normal or what Deb was concerned about that? Every time they do oxycodone, and that's off the list now, mm -hmm. and they were doing it oral, but you gotta understand, well, you do understand, she had nothing in her stomach because she's been throwing up, then she's drinking a few fluids, and then she'd have it. So I think we got that figured out, but it's the black stuff, and it was chunky, that Deb was still worried two days, three days after it surgery. Like reddish brown. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you certainly can still have swallowed some blood from during surgery, because uh, there's some of that with the tube in, mm -hmm. and that can sit around for quite a while. Uh, your stomach might be irritated. We have you on some antacids and stuff to kind of settle that down, and we might need to ramp that up a little bit as long as it doesn't make you sick, okay. ramping it up. So we have to be a little careful about that. Uh, your blood count's been about what we'd expect it to be in terms of you know, a little anemic after a big okay. surgery, but uh, it's nothing unusual, so I think we're okay. I know right. they called you last night because she was sick again, mm -hmm. but when she did fentanyl yesterday and put it in her IV, it was, although she was out of it a lot, she needed a day to rest anyway because she'd been up the night before. But she doesn't get sick when it goes in her IV, but when it goes straight to her tummy, she's just done. All right. So. Well, IV's fine with me. Doesn't really matter until <laughs> yeah. you're at home, then it's not okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll send you out on the street. No. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think she'll be in here? Just kind of what you're seeing today. Oh, uh, probably a couple days. You know, you need to eat well for a day and feel pretty okay. good. I mean, if you were felt fine, we could take the tube out of you go home today, but you don't feel fine, so you probably need to stick it's around. It's just so sore. Right. And we want to be able to take care of her when she, look who's here, to take oh, care of her. Early. So I asked him about the throw up, and he said that sometimes they get blood still in their stomach from the surgery. You got that chest tube thing? We'll take these two. Yeah, we'll grab all that. Some, uh, mm -hmm. right now. Yep. Uh, like grabbing 100 bikes. We'll give I was just going to ask him how he's going to pull that chest tube out. <laughs> so you just pull it out, or? We're going to take him out. Wow. She just got Comfortable. <laughs> That's good. It'll be nice and clean when we take it out. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a few to do that, but uh, we'll okay. get those tubes out. That usually gets rid of a lot of the discomfort to the tubes. So. Okay. And that's pretty good progress, actually. You're actually ahead of schedule yeah. in that regard, so yeah. that's good. Yeah. All right. And I thank you very much. You're actually much. doing very well. I'm sorry you don't feel good, but uh, I'll be back shortly.